Hello, and welcome to Parents Quick Smarts for First Grade Unit 4. In our session today, we will be exploring how first graders represent data using charts and graphs. Posing questions, collecting, organizing, representing, and analyzing data are integral to decision making in real life. Our world is full of information that is often described in numerical terms. Answers to questions about things like favorite programs, sports, or desserts help some people make decisions. This information can be used by community planners, restaurants, and other organizations that interact with people. Daily, we are exposed to numerous graphs in the news, online, and in newspapers or magazines. In first grade, students start to make connections to these graphs by exploring tally charts, bar graphs, and picture graphs. Students will learn to collect data by classifying objects or conducting surveys, by creating and reading tally charts, bar graphs, and picture graphs to represent data, and by utilizing graphs during problem solving. Connections to collecting data and graphing are all around us. What data do you think could be collected using this picture? We could sort and graph these shoes by size, by color, or by style. Did you think of any other ways? Tallying is a quick way to show how many, which is helpful when re recording results of a survey or sorting several different types of things into groups. So why do we tally in fives? Can you tell, tell how many tallies are recorded? How about now? As you can see, tallies are recorded in groups of five to make it easier and more efficient to count. Tally charts allow students to practice counting by different amounts and counting on from a number, for example, 5, 10, 11, 12. They represent numbers in multiple ways, and they compare and order numbers in the chart. Bar graphs help us tell a story about the data. For example, if we survey students about their favorite drink and record the data in a tally chart, we can then create a visual display of the data using a bar graph. The title of the graph is the main idea of the graph. In this case, it's favorite drink. We can then label our x-axis with the type of drink and y-axis with the number of students. Finally, we can shade in each bar to correctly represent the data we collected. Then students can ask or answer questions by looking at the data. In this example, students are able to relate real-world objects to graphing. This graph can now be recorded on paper. It's important for students to be exposed to graphs that are presented horizontally as well as vertically. As students begin to work with picture graphs, they can use real life objects and a variety of different symbols to represent the categories. Here, a child has graphed the different types of marshmallows found in Lucky Charms. Each symbol represents a different marshmallow that is placed in a square so that comparisons and counts are easily made. As students become more proficient with picture graphs, they will begin to use a single symbol to represent the data in all categories. A key will explain what the symbol means. In first grade, each symbol will only stand for one item or one vote. In second grade, however, students will begin to record symbols that represent more than one. For instance, each gingerbread could stand for five cookies. Here are some questions that you can ask your child at home to enhance their understanding of graphing. How are tally charts, bar graphs, and picture graphs alike? How are they different? How can you look at a graph or a chart to tell the most or least popular item without counting? Would surveying adults instead of kids change your data? How? Explain your thinking. How many students were surveyed in all? What is one thing you learned from this graph? 
Thank you for joining us today for Parent Quick Smarts. Remember, the best way to support your child's education is to keep an effective communication with your child's teacher. Until next time, take a look at these websites, thinkcentral.com and elementarymath.mysdhc.org. See you next episode.